Alright, my name is Edward Brand. Um, today I'm going to be servicing and maintaining the enclosure of two potteroos and a brush tailed possum. Uh, here is the service checklist of the possum aviary. So every day we check health, check enclosure for damage, check waters clean and full, remove the old food and check the nesting material, see if it needs to be replaced. Um, when I go in here, I've got to be mindful of the ground because their ground dwellers are very small and they run everywhere. Shut before doing anything. Yep. Come in, take a look around, what needs to be done. Can I see the animals? There's a possum sleeping. And the potteries are usually hiding behind things, but they um, keep to themselves. As you can see this browse is quite fresh and doesn't need to be replaced good. Um, I'll just start by refilling the water bowls. This is quite dirty. Mm. I'll just scoop up the shit, the feces off this thing. I'll wipe this down to get a F10. Prevent the spread of disease. It's good to wipe down any surface that all the animals are sharing. Um, so F10s are just stored in the shed in these bottles, ready to go. Just got to take them out and put them back in where they belong. Go around to their usual feeding spots and pick up the food they haven't eaten. And I'll give this a good wipe down with F10 as well.
Just checking all the pots have enough water in them. Just, just pick it up, just going to help you just, you can't see inside of it. We can use a bit more water. It's starting to warm up now, so we've got more evaporation going on. The under the um, possum box, he's dropped quite a bit of food. So you can drop some more. Is this <coughs> making sure all the food scraps out reduces the uh, prevalence of pests such as rodents in the enclosure? Uh, the fence is surrounded by concrete skirting, which should prevent rodents burrowing in, but they always find a way. And just get this leaf litter back in the leaf litter. For aesthetic reasons. Um, so I'm just going to check the nest box for food. The possum's in there, but he wouldn't mind just getting that rotten stuff out. He's all good. He's a very clean possum, self-sustaining. Um, he rests up there as well and poos everywhere, so I'm just going to wipe that down quickly. Um, quite a regular feeding in the housing. Um, got the brush tail possum a soft, soft, cuddly blanket. She's had hers for a few days. Just gonna change it over. Gradually take the old one out without stressing her too much. So, now she's got a soft new one, it's she'll just sort out herself. Because there's no grains or seeds in their diet, we just put this straight on the burn pile. We don't have to bag it. It's like we do when there's seeds in it. That's just to stop um, seeds getting out into the park and uh, causing lumpy jaw in the macropods. We just tuck the um, waste from the burn pile. 
gets burned regularly. After maintaining the brush tail possum and potterer enclosure by mark on the sheet that has been serviced for this today and maintained. 